Hi everybody, welcome to my intermediate level flow routine. It starts off in the relaxation position with the right leg at 90 degrees. Place the hands around the thigh to keep the thigh still, let the leg relax. As you exhale, stretch. I'm going to do four of these, the foot's pointed. Breathe out, stretch. Breathe in, bend. And three. I'm going to start right leg each time, or right arm with the exercises, and four. And down, swap to the left. 90 degrees, let the leg flop. Breathe out, stretch. Breathe in, bend. And two. And down. And three. And down. And four. And down. Back to the right leg. 90 degrees, let it flop, but this time flex the foot as you stretch. One, and breathe out two, and breathe out three, flex the foot, and relax the foot as you come down, and breathe out four, and down. Left leg, second set. 90 degrees, let the foot flop down, exhale, stretch and flex the foot, inhale down, and two, and three, and four, place the foot down. The right knee, hug it into the chest, hands at the back of the knee, slide the left leg away. One, do four of these, swap around midair, right leg slide. Keep the right leg pinned in towards the rib cage as you slide, and one more repeat. Now we're going to go into the figure of four stretch. The right ankle crossed over the left thigh. Bring the left leg in, round the back, breathe. And back, left over right, nice wide space between the legs. Bring the right leg in, round the back, breathe. Two more, right over left. Bring the left leg in, round the back, and breathe. And last one, left over right. Bring the right leg in, round the back. And breathe. I'm going to bridge, so I've removed the block that's been half behind my head. With the arms up at vertical, roll up into a bridge. Now, you've got an option here to support the hips with the hands if you need to, but raise the right leg, stretch the right leg, and eight times lower and lift without the body moving. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And three. And four. And five. Inhale, lift. And six. And seven. And eight, lift the leg, bend the leg, bring it down, come down for a breather, give your legs a stretch. We'll do the second set in a second. Come back into position, roll up into the bridge, left leg, straight leg, breathe. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift, and two, and lift, and three of eight and lift, and four, and lift, and five, body stays absolutely still, use your hands behind your hips if you need to, and six, and seven, and eight, and up, bend the knee, and have a stretch. Bring the hands behind the head, Right leg into tabletop, left leg stretched away. Curl forwards, one, do four of these, two. Exhale forwards, three. And exhale four, swap the legs. Exhale one. Exhale two. Exhale three, inhale back, exhale four, exhale five, 
exhale four. Now keep the legs in this position, put the hands at the back of the left leg and rock yourself forwards and backwards and rock up into a seated balanced position. Hands at the back of the legs. Four stretches, the right leg stretches and down, left leg stretch, right leg stretch, left leg, keep going but with the hands on the mat in front of you, one and two and three and four, second set with the hands off, one and two and three and four, hands at the back of the legs. The second set is both legs stretching at the same time. One, thigh bones stay still. Two, these are teaser preps. Three, and four. Keep going, but with the hands in front of you on the mat. One, and two, and three, and four, and then the hands off the mat. One, and two, and three, and into the teaser, four, and release down. I come around this way so you can see the third exercise with the feet off the ground. I've gone wide with the hands, and I'm sat up as tall as I can be. Knees together, feet together. Roll both knees to the right and back, exhale left, we're going to do eight of these, and three, down to the mat, four, and five, and six, and seven, and hold the eighth position, and tuck your right foot behind you to come into the mermaid. Hold on to your right ankle and bring the left arm up to vertical side stretch over pull on the ankle and then as we come to the left i'm going to bring the left elbow down and twist so i bring the right elbow and hand down and back up repeat four of these stretch and breathe and back elbow down right elbow and hand down facing the mat and back and three and over to the left, right elbow and hand down and up and stretch and breathe in and down to the left, right elbow and hand down. As you come up, swap the legs. Holding onto the left ankle, bring the right arm up to vertical. Side stretch over and down with the left elbow and hand, push back up, hand on the ankle and stretch and breathe. Right elbow down, left elbow and hand down, push up and third repeat and down and down with the elbow and hand. Fourth repeat, take hold of the ankle, vertical arm, side stretch, breathe in and down. From that mermaid position, come into a four point position, stretch away the right leg, tuck the toes under, Float the left knee off the ground and extend the legs and come into a high plank. From the high plank come down onto your right elbow and then your left. Raise a straight right leg. Down. Left leg. Down. Two more. Right leg. And down. And left. Come over onto your right side. Turn the head to face the hand as you bring the left arm up to the ceiling. Come back down into your elbow plank. Second set, right leg lift. Left leg lift. 
Two more, right leg lift, left leg lift, roll onto your left side, raise the right arm, turn the head to look and come back into your plank, come up into a high plank and walk your hands back towards your feet into downward facing dog. Walking on the spot, pressing down through the heel, Four more, pressing down through the heel. I'm probably going to go have a shot now because I'm going to walk back towards my hands and take hold of my lower legs and come into a forwards fold. In that forwards fold position, bring the hands back down and come down into your four point tabletop. I'm going to call this thread the needle, needle pose. So the right hand threads through, the shoulder and the ear come down to the ground and take a moment there. And very slowly start to push up and then replace the hand, keeping the back straight. The left hand threads along the mat, the left shoulder and the ear come down, take a moment there, a couple of breaths. And then very slowly push yourself up into a four point position. Cat stretch, tuck the tailbone and come backwards. Looking through the legs, take a breath. Now slide the hands forwards. And as you come forwards, let the back extend. So you're dropping the hips and lifting the chest. And we come down, hips first. And then onto the elbows. The legs are hip wide and parallel and I'm in the sphinx position. Right leg, double kick, kick, kick. Left leg, kick, kick. Do eight of these. Right leg, kick, kick. Left leg, kick, kick. Exhale as you kick. And left and right. Upper body stays absolutely still and hands by your shoulders slowly push back up and keep the hands where they are but bring your bottom down onto your heels and tuck into rest position elbows down onto the mat from your rest position come up and step the right foot forwards into a lunge as you lunge forwards, clap the hands together and lift the hands, lift the head to extend the spine. Rotate to the right, inhale centre, exhale rotate to the left and come to centre. Place the hands down and swap the lunge pose, left foot forwards. Bring the hips forwards, hands, palms together, lift the hands, lift the eyes. Left rotation as you exhale, inhale centre, right rotation as you exhale, inhale centre, hands down onto the mat, step the left foot back and come into a high plank. Stay in the high plank if you want to but optionally come down very slowly into a dip, hold for a breath and very slowly come back up into a plank. Right knee to right elbow and back. Body stays still, left to left, we'll do four of these. And back, right to right, left to left. Come onto your right hand and side plank, lift the left arm and look to the ceiling, back into a high plank. Right knee to left elbow, let the hips twist, left to right, right to left, and left to right. Go onto your left hand, 
and raise the right arm to the ceiling and back into your plank. From your plank position, come over into a seated position, legs hip wide, feet pointed, hands behind the head in the curl up position, narrow the elbows round the back as you exhale and come forwards, lift the elbows, lift the head, straighten the back as you hinge backwards, exhale round and forwards, inhale lift to come back two more, round to come forwards and lift the elbows, lift the head, straighten the back out to hinge backwards and again exhale, elbows narrow, round to come forwards and lift to come back up. Change the hand position to that salute position and hinge backwards and then round the back and roll down, stretch the arms behind you, take a deep breath in, swing the arms forwards, bow the head and roll yourself up off the floor. Salute position, sit tall, hinge your straight spine backwards, we're going to do four of these, round when you need to, roll down bone by bone, stretch the arms backwards, breathe in, arms come forwards, bow the head, roll yourself up bone by bone, salute position, sit tall, exhale, hinge backwards, look down as you round the back, roll backwards, send the arms backwards, take a deep breath in. Swing the arms forwards, bow the head, and roll up off the floor. Salute position, last repeat. Deep breath in, hinge backwards with the straight spine. Look down as you round the lower back, and roll down bone by bone. Stretch the arms backwards, take a breath. Bring the arms forwards, and curl forwards. And roll yourself back up to a straight spine. If you can, flex the feet and take hold of the ends of your feet, curl the back, so I'm really opening the lumbar spine backwards and releasing the head down and taking a moment there to calm the breath. From your spine stretch, lift the spine straight, bring your hands behind you, lift off the ground, right leg raise and down. Exhale, left leg raise, and down, eight of these, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and come down, give your wrists a good shake out. Go wide with the legs. The right hand behind the head, the left hand palm down, turn to reach the outside of your foot and back and swap and swap and last one and I'm going to turn to face you so you can see this one. Finishing off, right leg out straight, left, left foot tucked. Turn to face the right leg, take hold of the underside of the leg and come down to the knee. Hold the stretch for several breaths. One more deep breath in. Sigh the breath out and come up. Swap the legs around, nice wide angle to the left leg, right foot tucked. Um, as you come down towards that left leg, the right knee towards the ground. Hold the stretch for several breaths. One more deep breath in and release. And we'll hold it there for today.